Hey guys, hope you are doing well and staying safe. Welcome to second episode of the Gutenberg sidebar plugin development. In the last video, we have created our plugin structure and today we will see how we can create sidebar besides the Gutenberg editor. So let's dig in. Alright, so let's just start with index.js. At first, what uh, we need to do, we need to bring some of the functions or components from some libraries. So let's do that. So from wp.plugins, we're going to bring up uh, the register plugin. Just like so, and we also need some couple of things. Uh, the next one is plugin side plugin sidebar. Yes, so plugin plugin sidebar, and the next thing should be uh, plugin sidebar more menu item. and this should be coming from wp dot edit post like so and the next thing is required for uh, internationalization of the strings and it should be come from wp i18n and these are the packages right now we're gonna need now the next thing is we need to register the plugin so let's call this register plugin function register plugin and it's gonna accept some uh, uh, parameters let's add the prefix and the ID let's add the uh, Gutenberg Gutenberg sidebar like so and then the next parameter will be an object so first thing we need to pass the icon uh, let's add the icon like smiley okay and the next one is the render and it will be returning something and by this return we are gonna return some DOM so let's first add the react fragment here and then the next thing is using that plugin sidebar so let's just copy this and paste it here and obviously this plugin sidebar will have some attributes to pass the first one is the name and the name uh, should be same like this and the next thing will be the title so the title let's do some international edition here so let's say meta options right and then our text domain so our text domain name basically is this wp gutenberg sidebar so let's just add it here and here let's just add uh, let's say sidebar content like so all right and now let's just quickly check the script so scripts is running as expected so this is the part of code that we're gonna need to just register the sidebar into the Gutenberg. So let's go back into the backend and just hit a gentle refresh. Hopefully we can see our sidebars into the right side. 
and sure enough as you can see this is our smiley icon so if we click on that and we can see our title as meta options and this is the content that we have just added so this is how you can add the sidebar into the Gutenberg editor now another thing I want to show you so there is a drop down option I mean this three dot icon so here right now there is nothing but when we go there and let's click on here so there will be another option if you have some other plugins that has the sidebar then there will be another options like plugin and then the other menu so currently i have no other plugins installed as it can behave as a sidebar so that's why there is nothing but let me show you so that will also appear because as you can see we have this plugin sidebar more menu items so we can take advantage of it by using like this and it will also take some parameters the only option will be the target and the target uh, will be the id of the register sidebar plugin so let's just edit here and also let's let us add some title so that it it can add onto that menu so we can say wp Gutenberg sidebar like so and then the text domain we can just copy it from here all right now if we go back and hit a refresh just just reload okay and now if i click on this menu we should see another option as you can see plugins and this is our plugin with the appropriate icon so we can click on that that will also trigger our sidebar so that's it for this episode into the next episode we will see how we can add some contents i mean some form fields into the sidebar and save the values gradually so see you in the next video.